Hello, fellow tappers. It's a little for here. And today, I'm coming back to unlock the, yeah, the first three prizes of the act, full prize track of the Trails of Horror XXXIII. So yes, we have got some three awesome looking prizes that we're going to be unlocking. So firstly, we're going to be unlocking the Zombie Bill Will Bundle. Then it's going to be the bottomless pit. And then we've got the sort of, I'm going to call it the electronic operating table for now. We're certainly not called that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find out what it's called when we get to it. So let's get, yeah, let's go and get started with the zombie bubble bundle. The zombies are vanquished and Halloween is near complete. I declare myself the victor. By what right? I ingeniously summoned Mopey Mary. She didn't scare anyone. True, my whole crawling out of the TV bit is pretty much all I've got. Fine. You have one final shot, Lovecraft. What have you got? Only my most twisted creation yet. Twisted creation? As in pretzels? Yum. Here we go. We've got the zombie bubbled bundle. At the suburbs of madness, part one. So, listen to the next bit of the dialogue. I know you can do it, Mr. Lovecraft. Bring the true meaning of dread back to Springfield. Lisa, how could you? I thought you were Team Poe. I'm Team Whoever can deliver true horror that isn't just gore and cheap thrills. Plus, curved services kind of scare me too. <laughs> Worry not, fellow non -Euclidean, Euclidean devotee. Prepare for horror beyond imagining. I'll need a reanimator. Gently used if new is not available. There's not anything like that in Springfield. Sure there is. My Dr. Ritchie has one at his castle on the edge of town. Excellent. But first we need to make a brief stop at the abandoned lighthouse. What for? The only person who currently currently lives there is Sideshoe Bob. Exactly. There we go. So, next up, we're going to be locking the bottomless pit, and we'll come to that, and honestly, I'm super excited for that. But let's check out the that billboard bundle. And so, it's in storage. So let's go find it. Here we go, zombie billboard bundle. There we go. Awesome. So let's place the two billboards down. Fantastic. Here we are. Lovely. Number one. Look at that. See zombies and ghouls. Is it your grandparents at Springfield Retirement Castle? That is brilliant. And then we have Springfield the Zombie Is. Interesting. And I do actually really like how um, the lights are sort of at the bottom of one of them and the top of the other one. So there's different. They haven't got the same frames, which is really cool. It's nice to have some unique billboards. So let's give them a tap and see those lights hopefully turn on. Oh, I love the zombie grunts. That is brilliant. Let's see what the other one is. <laughs> Some more grunts, but a lower pitch. That is brilliant. So there we go. And I believe we can get more in the store. I think you have to get them separately. Yes, there we go. Zombie is billboard. Zombie and, Zombie and Ghoul's billboard. And then we've obviously got the crusty one for 20 donuts as well. Halloween Horror Night billboard. There we are. So yeah, overall, not bad. Not bad decorations. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the billboards. I know it's a bit annoying that they didn't just add three billboards in one bundle, as they have them previously. But to get a bundle of two decorations, or even just more than one item, in one section of the prize track, I'm, I'm grateful for, to be honest. So there we go. So, we will come on to the bottom. Here's bit. the next bit. Hey, hey! Knock, knock, knock. 
What is this? I was nearly napping, when suddenly there comes a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at the lighthouse door. Finally, someone with some culture. Moribund and monotonous. Edgar Allan Poe and H.P. Lovecraft. You're probably wondering why I'm here, and why I have this chloroform gag and length of rope. I recognise a kidnapping when I see one. He has some experience in the field. <laughs> awesome. So let's get the bottomless pit. It is a bit on the small side. I've got to be honest, I did expect it to be a little bigger. But there we go, the bottomless pit. Lovely jubbly. It does look cool though. So that's part two. And yeah, it's got a really nice sort of 3D effect built into the ground. Awesome. Pardon us for dropping in, in unannounced on All Hallows' Eve, Dr. Ritchie. You can call me mad. I have a friendly wager with Mr. Poe as to who can create the greatest horror. I have something in mind that would chill you to the very marrow. If there's marrow involved, count me in. Oh, so it's not the operation table, it's the reanimator, which does sound exciting. A lot more exciting than an operating table anyway. So there we go. So that is really, really cool. And so I'm super excited to tap on this bottomless pit. So let's give it a tap. That is really, really nice. And honestly, I do really like the um, design of the bottomless pit. The 3D aspects are really cool. So let's tap on it again and see more of these uh, bats fly out. And the scream is awesome. That is just brilliant. Lovely. Awesome. So, yeah, we're going to get on to the final decoration of today, which is the reanimator. So I'm going to be right that... next bit. <laughs> the first thing I need is... Got some sausage of Bob's head. Awesome. And actually, before we move on, I just realised that oh, this facade for the brown house did have the sort of wobbling coffin. Don't know whether you noticed it there to tap on it quickly but that will mean that the other sort of buildings with the facades from the jewel deal should have animations too and i think that is really really cool and honestly i didn't realize that all the facades had unique animations so that's awesome anyway continuing on cuts to sergio bob's head how did you know that's what i needed first i was going to cut off your head but you were talking so best halloween ever so, yeah, here's the reanimator, and this does look very, very cool. Righty ho, let's place this down over here with the other stuff. Fantastic. Suburb of Man is Punk 3. All I need is but a moment at Mad Dr. Ritchie's reanimator, and Springfield shall know true horror at last. You're getting desperate, Lovecraft. All you've got is a head is the head of a sideshow buffoon and some spare parts. Just wait and see. Ooh. Awesome. So we've got the abandoned lighthouse, which is up next, which is, yeah, going to be interesting. So I'm going to be unlocking that sometime late in the week. So there we go. So yeah, I'm super excited to check out the reanimator. So let's go and give it a tap. That is so cool. So we've got the little bird. It turns into a donut. And the little bird comes down immediately. There's a sort of gargling sound of the, and the food comes down again. It's a reanimator. The poor bird seems to have... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It might be a... Yeah, I think that's the idea. It's a sort of leap. But it's very, very cool. I do, I do love that animation. That is really, really nice, to be honest. I did not expect that animation to be as cool as it is. So yeah, there we go. So that is sadly going to bring me to the end of this video for today. Yes, we cannot connect to the server, and um, yeah, it's as if it knew I was finished. So there we go. But yeah, that is not going to be the end of the Halloween content on the channel. Obviously, we've got the abandoned lighthouse, and 
yeah, I've um, we've got also sides to check in as well to go through. Also, on the channel, I've got something else that is just really different that I'm going to be going through, which is how on earth did I get the donuts that I have on this account? As I know, obviously I've uploaded loads of tips and tricks videos, but I get question day after day about how do you get all of those donuts and everything. And I basically just want to explain, well, firstly, you know, how I got those donuts and, um, yeah, and sort of point you in the right direction of where to look for advice, because many people ask me for the advice, but don't always know where to look. So I'm going to make a video basically sort of outlining, yeah, the route to success and the sort of content that I have on the channel, the resources available to you to be a successful tapped up player. And I'm going to be making a whole video devoted to that, which is going to be coming out, yeah, probably once I've completed the prize track. But yeah, that do wait around for that. So yeah, that's going to be cool. So there we go. So that is sadly going to bring me to the end of this video for today. But yeah, stick around for all of that, all the content. And yeah, I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. And good bye.